Okay, so let's power up the new motor driver that I've bought and see what we have. I'm applying now uh, 30 volts, which is the maximum per channel that I have. Maybe a little more, but I think I will try. So powering it up. As you can see, the motor is spinning. I have here a potentiometer. You probably can hear the noise. Even though I am uh, trying to run it fast, it starts slowly. So they have a nice algorithm. Let's try to change the direction with the speed. Looks nice, I have to admit. Okay, one more thing to test if this is a good one because I did not uh, connect the whole sensor, the whole effect sensor. So let's try to stop it and see after stalling if it can come out from the situation. Pretty easily. As you can see, it is doing it quite well. I will try to apply more power. And see if I get more power. Yes. Okay, it's quite good, I have to admit. It's look better than the uh, BLDC uh, motor driver that I currently have, I have to admit. So they done here a nice job, because the whole effect sensor are not connected. If you will zoom up, you will see the speed. Zoom at the picture. Okay, nice. Pretty nice, I have to admit. More than I have expected. Okay, I probably will try to use it in some of my projects. By the way, the motor is not connected, so you can see that it turned to red. It detects that something is not good. I will now apply... Again, I will disconnect the motor. Then connect it. Let's see if after a few seconds it will start automatically. And it is not. So, when you have a problem, probably you have to go to minimum speed and then speed it up. And if I will be at low speed, let's see. Yes, if I'm, if I'm using a low speed. Ah, no, it is not yet. Uh, let's see if I will apply. Something no, you have to go to the low speed and then speed it up again, and then it will be okay. But this is something pretty simple to do, okay? Quite nice, I have to admit, more than I expected. I will put a link with description where to buy it. So, thank you all, and bye bye.